Hey folks, it's Tom and Frugal Prepper. So I want to talk a little bit about today about the Taurus G3C. Um, every once in a while I like to buy a cheap gun and just try it out and see how it works. Uh, because I teach a lot of people how to shoot for their first time and they're always looking for a gun and they don't understand that guns are actually the cheap part of shooting and practicing and learning to shoot. Ammunition and training and practice is the most expensive part and so buying a six hundred dollar gun is no different than buying a two hundred dollar gun in the long term but people are always like oh i just don't want to spend that much money i want something cheaper Ooh, that high point is only a hundred and nineteen dollars you know and you're like trying to explain to them why they don't want a high point you know that kind of stuff so i look for guns around the two hundred to three hundred dollar price range that are really good guns um, I tried a Sky. That turned out to be a complete joke. Uh, don't buy a Sky. <laughs> um, if you want to learn how to shoot and shoot well, don't get a Sky. If you want to shoot well, it won't. They're not compatible. People say they're compatible and they say how reliable they are and how good they shoot them. They're just lying. So, um, this gun is a Taurus G3C. I bought this yesterday, $239 uh, at Rule King. Um, I took it out, I put it through its paces, ran it through a few hundred rounds at the range, and just did some 2x2 two two reload drills, I did some some three shot drills on a target, I, I did all kinds of like just different things I do for training, and man this thing is awesome. It shoots really well. Um, it just shoots uh, great. It line up that front sight on the uh, over what you want to shoot, and line up the back sights and just pull that trigger and boom, it just lands the bullet right where it's supposed to go every time. Um, it has an external safety, so. It's really positive, so if you want to carry it with the safety off, it does have this extra trigger thing right here, like a Glock. You can do that, or you can flip that safety up and just have that. It's not ambidextrous. I'm left-handed, so I probably carry it with the safety off. Um, but it's a really good gun, very Glock-like. It has a really good grip pattern back here. Very aggressive, and it really has that for your thumb that dot right there for your trigger finger this is for your other thumb come around here and you can build a good grip with it you know like that and very good uh, very fast to line up on follow up shots recoil is acceptable it's just a good gun it really impressed me I thought yeah, it's a Taurus it'll probably be okay um, it has a good trigger, not the best trigger, but far from the worst. You can really put this on and just make their shots. Um, trigger is pretty far back when you cycle the slide and you go to shoot. So you're going pretty far to the back but it breaks really clean it, there's no grit or anything in there it breaks really clean now it does have double strike capability and so that starts farther forward a little heavier and it's gritty the double strike is gritty 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 oh there it goes right but in an emergency if you have a light primer that's good but the single strike trigger is really nice even though it is so far back um, perfectly acceptable trigger for a self-defensive gun. Perfectly acceptable. Um, it tears apart kind of like a Glock in that you pull that and then you pull these two down. Alright. You let that go and then pull the trigger and then your slide comes off. And you have to hold that. You can't just pull the trigger and let it go because it's double strike. So it resets and it won't let the slide go unless you hold the trigger down and take the slide off. So a little different than the Glock there. 
very Glock S firing pin, firing pin block, very Glock S barrel, recoil spring right there. I mean, it's a very, very similar. Now, it says Bainbridge, Georgia on the slide, but the frame says Taurus Arms made in Brazil. And the magazines are made in Brazil. It has a 12 round capacity magazine. Uh, it seemed welded back there. It looks like it's fairly well put together. It is really hard to load. Those springs are stiff, stiff. So a speed loader will help. This will work with my Glock 45 speed loader just fine. Uh, it works. Uh, but you know you might have to get some type of an aftermarket speed loader if you really want to reload those fast it takes forever to get 12 rounds in one of these things uh, that's the only complaint that I have about it is the magazines are a little stiff and hard to reload uh, but not the worst that I've ever seen but far from the best all right <laughs> you know um, but you know, you want to put your slide back on, you just slide it over there. And I pull the trigger back and then get that on there. And yeah, then you're set. Um, but it's a good little gun. I, I really like it. Um, I think this is a perfect carry gun. It looks like the safety or the mag release is reversible. So if you're left-handed, you can switch that mag release to the other side. Um, the you know the the safety though is not ambidextrous, so that's that's a disadvantage for lefties. The mag release I always just leave the mag releases generally on the right for the right-handed shooter, and just hit them with my middle finger here. So I'm empty. Change my grip. Put in another mag just that simple yeah empty finger off the trigger change that put in my next mag so that's that's how I do them you know um, but the mags seem to drop in and out fine like I said I did two by two reload drills they weren't fine um, it's a really good gun uh, for $240, this would be an excellent carry gun or home defensive gun. I mean, 12 rounds is more than enough. Um, I think this is a winner. This is definitely a winner. Now, will it last as long as a Glock? Are you going to be able to shoot it as much a Glock? I don't know. It does have a lifetime warranty from Taurus, but their warranty repairs can take a couple of months. So, you know. It depends. But as far as a first gun, especially if you're not going to be a person that goes out and shoots 10,000 rounds a month, this is a good gun. This is really good. All right. So I'll talk to you all later. This is Tom, your frugal prepper. You know, I usually sell these things or give them away afterwards or trade them back in, you know, to the gun store. But I think I might keep this one. <laughs> this one's pretty nice. All right, I'll talk to you all later. It's Tom, your frugal prepper.